Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzimos, and you are welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking empires free. If you are new, on this channel I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse, I talk about spirituality, and I talk about personal and self-development. And in case some of that stuff resonates with you, I invite you to join us guys, give us a like, share this video with your friends, and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back, and I thank you for your love and support. So, in this chapter today, I want to talk about the narcissist, and the basic reasons I might have about three or four reasons as to why I decided to forgive the narcissist. At this point, we already know what narcissistic abuse looks like. We already know what they do. We know about the pain. We know about the drama. We know about the chaos. We know about everything that they do to the empath. For the most of you guys who have been involved with them. And um, when I left the narcissist, one of the things that came to my mind was revenge. That was the very first thing that came to my mind. I was just sitting by myself and I was thinking, there is no way a person can do whatever it is they do to other people and they can get away with it. But then, I, but then again, as I thought about that, I looked back and I thought that actually I did not have to do anything. Me as an empath, I didn't, I didn't have to do anything, which even brings us to the reason number one I decided, to, I decided personally to forgive the narcissist. And I'm talking about this in my own perspective, but in the comment section below, I would like to know you, are, uh, you other guys, if you have dealt with the narcissist, I would like to know what has been your experience and I would like to know if you have left the narcissist, why exactly did you decide to forgive them? But in this video, I'm talking about my own perspective. Number one is because I'm an empath. Now, the empaths we all know, we already know, the empaths were not about vengeance. So the empaths, you'll never find an empath going out there and seeking revenge, trying to revenge people or something like that. Normally, the empaths, especially the super empaths, those, are the, those, are the, those that have dealt with the narcissist, the very first thing they will do is they are going to do everything in their power to extract themselves. Because most of the times the empath, at the point they decide that they are going to leave that partnership, they have already had enough. And most of the cases, the empath, the more they get pushed onto the edge, most of them have even gone supernova. But usually, the empaths, we know how to handle our feelings and we know how to handle ourselves. So the empaths, empath's life is not about revenge. Me personally, as an individual, I knew that I was an empath. When I found out when I, when I found out that I was an empath, I decided that I was not going to revenge the narcissist, number one, because it is not in my making and it is not in my it is not in my DNA. That kind of action, those kind of things of revenge and vengeance and everything like that, it was not a part of me and it was not something that would identify me as an empath. So that was for me the very first reason as to why I decided that I wasn't going to revenge the narcissist. Just because I'd gone through a lot of pain and trauma and all these kind of things wasn't going to uh, pave way or give me the reasons for me to go back and do some some kind of some kind of uh, vengeful act towards the narcissist. Reason number two is. Uh, because of family. So now we're talking about family. Now in this one, I'm, I want to talk about, I want to talk to the people who have got children with the narcissist. If you have got children with the narcissist, one, two, three kids, it doesn't matter. But as long as you've got children with the narcissist and you now start to plot revenge and try to do all these kind of things to them, now the whole drama is going to double. You know what I mean? So when I looked back and I thought about the children as well, I thought to myself that actually, for the sake of the children, and you know this kind of, I didn't, I did not want to, I did not want the chaos to become as worse as it, uh, as uh, to become worse than it already was. So I did that also. Number two reason, number two, to protect the children as well. So it is the second reason why I decided to forgive the narcissist. Reason number three that I decided to forgive the narcissist was because I already knew the narcissist was going to self-destruct. 
now i might have i might have done a video i don't i think i did i'm sure that i did a video about uh self-destruct the nurses when they self-destruct i already knew the nurses was going to self-destruct because when i started digging deep and uh going in going within getting more information uh I finally found out that actually these individuals, they are meant to self-destruct. So even sometimes without you having to move a finger, it is already obvious that the narcissist is going to self-destruct because their patterns do not allow them to live authentically, to live normally, to do other things, to do things the way other people do them. So their patterns and their ways of behavior, it is already obvious that they are always going to do something what is going to put them down uh, to bring them down to destruction so i automatically knew that particular individual was going to self-destruct and there was nothing for me there, there was no reason for me to worry about that because as much as i don't want to see it because like i've said always in my videos these are some of the things you don't want to see you don't want to participate you want to stay as far away as you can and whatever it is is going to happen to them you don't want to be a part of their karma so by self-destruct by self-destruct i mean they're always going to receive their karma anyway you know what I mean? Because whatever it is you put out there is exactly what you get back. So I definitely knew that particular individual was going to self-destruct, like all nurses do. Most of the nurses, they've ended up they've ended up dead, they've ended up in hospitals, they've ended up uh, losing their mind, they've ended up in all sorts of things, or all sorts of uh, situations. And me personally, as an individual, I did not want to be a part of it. So I knew the nurses was going down because their own their own patterns of behavior, their own things they used to, they, they, their own things they do as individuals, as individuals, those things lead them down to the drain and they bring them to down to destruction. So I knew that even me without having to raise my hand, or even put a finger or even sometimes to speak a word, their patterns were going to bring them down to destruction. And that is the best, best reason why I decided to withdraw and uh, step back and watch things from a distance because I automatically knew what was going to be the end result of this whole situation? Lastly, but not least, which is number four. The reason that I decided that I wasn't going to revenge the narcissist was because it was time for me to heal and to work on myself. Now, by that time already, so many things had happened. A lot of uh, emotional pain, physical uh, health issues and all these kind of things were going on at the end of the partnership. So I knew that I, I wouldn't sacrifice any more time trying to deal with the nurses themselves. I had to get back, step out and get back and start working on myself because there was already a lot of a lot on my plate and a lot of things that I had to deal with, especially when you're talking about healing, physically, healing mentally, healing emotionally. So that's why most of the times the people have gone through narcissistic abuse they have always been advised to stay away and stay no contact. By no contact, normally, the no contact means that you are now getting out, blocking those nurses and taking them out of your life and now focusing on working on yourself because there's a lot of healing has got to happen. It is one of the most difficult things to heal after narcissistic abuse. So that's why most of the time you have got to sacrifice that time for, for yourself to start working on yourself and start to healing emotionally, physically, and mentally, in whichever way, shape or form, it is very important for an empath when you've got a number of narcissistic relationships not to think about vengeance or revenge, but otherwise think about your own, your own personal life, your future self, and moving towards a better version of you. So I have four reasons I've given you guys. Number one was because I'm an empath, and empath is not about vengeance. Number two was because of family, there was children involved, and I did not want to get the situation Worse than, it, worse, than it, worse than it already was. Number three was because I already knew the narcissist was going to personally self-destruct without me having to raise a finger, without me having to take any action because they would eventually get karma for whatever it is they have done. And number four was because it was time for me to work on myself and step out and start healing myself emotionally, physically and mentally. Those are the four basic reasons. If you have got any other reasons, you personal as an individual, I would like to know in the comment section below the reason why I didn't want to take any kind of revenge towards the narcissist. And until then, guys, it's always a blessing to have you guys on board. I hope this video resonates. If it does, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Much love and blessings. There's more signing out. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.